A Chronicle of the Kings of England by Sir Richard Baker. I'm Sammy Jay from Peter Harrington and I'd like to show you this superb copy. Uh, it is a history book, a royalist history book by Sir Richard Baker. Um, it tells the story of the, uh, the kings of England all the way from the Roman government uh, up until the death of King James. Now Baker died uh, two years after it was first published in 1643 and this is a continuation uh, with various editions including one by uh, John Milton's nephew um, who was surprisingly a royalist, um, unlike his uh, uncle. Uh, and it continues all the way up until uh, this being the fourth edition of 1665, up until the restoration of Charles II. Um, so it uh, completes the, uh, the history of England up until that date, uh, which is excellent. It also has a wonderful um, illustrated frontispiece on the left here, um, showing the uh, Romans, the Saxons, the various cities of England. Uh, which is very handsome indeed. Um, the copy itself, we flick through it, is uh, very handsome inside. It's clean, it's got good margins, uh, it's exemplary. But the real uh, stellar element of this book is the binding, which I'll show you now. Uh, this is really un unusual and impressive to find a 17th century book looking like this. This is uh, completely contemporary red Morocco, uh, which is, uh, as a color and uh, style of, of binding is sort of the most impressive, the most aristocratic. The binder is in fact um, none other than Samuel Mern, who did the bindings for the kings and various uh, important people at the time. This uh, super libros here, which you see, is that of Edward Hyde, who was the Lord Chancellor, also known as the Earl of Clarendon, and uh, he wrote Clarendon's History of the Rebellion, which was published in the early 1700s. It is the main history still read today, still referred to, of the Civil War. Uh, and as such, it's an exceptional association copy of a history of England that goes, of a royalist history of England, uh, that goes all the way up to and includes the Civil War. And indeed, uh, given that Clarendon uh, was writing his um, history through the uh, 17th century, it's very likely that he referred to this text and indeed this copy uh, in the writing of it. And as such, it's an excellent, uh, an excellent thing. So it got a very distinguished later provenance also. Uh, you can see here Robert S. Peary, who is a great collector of uh, 17th century history and literature. And on the left also, uh, Bigner Park and various other uh, aristocrats who no doubt were attracted by the uh, association and the uh, handsome binding. Um, it's a very, very handsome copy uh, of a great book with, a, to be honest, an unparalleled provenance. To find out more about this and other books, please visit our website.